Linda Amitrano talked a wee bit about the sustainability features of the brand's Totoro building behind me. And one of those features was solar water heating, which is a very important technology for sustainability. What we'd like to talk about here are some of the features uh, that solar water heating offers and the advantages we can see both in the residential and commercial sense. New Zealand is very fortunate to have very good solar resources. Even on a winter's day like today, these solar panels are receiving a considerable amount of energy. This particular panel is a solar water heating panel in that the solar energy from the sun is converted directly into the water within the panel. Another type of technology is called photovoltaic panels, also known as PV panels, in that the solar energy is converted directly into electricity. These collectors are flat plate collectors. Alternate technology is an evacuated tube system. The technology you use depends on certain properties and certain configurations, so what you would use in Auckland can be different from what you would use in Queenstown. Around 70% of the energy used in a residential home is for thermal energy, either heating or cooling. Solar water heating can play a major component in providing for that energy use. One of the properties of solar water heating is the upfront cost. People look at the, the cost and how much they will save and see that it takes a long time to pay back. But when you actually look at the percentage returns from the systems, the systems can return 10 to 11%. That percentage is quite important because it is tax free. To make the most of this abundant resource we need to install more solar water heating and other efficient technologies.